Today we're gonna to talk about the Airstream Base Camp. There are two optional tents for the base camp, one for the rear and one for the side. You can buy both tents or just one. And when you're putting the tents up, you wanna start with the rear tent first and then put the side tent on. There are also a couple of dealer prep items that need to be done before you actually go out on the road. So we're gonna talk about those as well. The first one is on the track at the top, there's an insert on there. This needs to be taken out so the keeper of the tent will slide into that track. So what they do is they'll take this piece right here and they'll take it out of the track. Now this goes to the front and around the rear of the trailer. They'll take that out so the tents can slide in there. There's also snaps that need to be installed for the tent to uh, hook to the trailer with. The dealer will install these when you buy the tent and they're gonna be about four or five of these along the back and the side of the tent. The rear tent's gonna come in two bags. The first bag is gonna have the tent itself. The second bag is gonna have one fiberglass pole three metal poles for the top, a set of instructions on how to set up the tent, and some draw strings for your stakes. The first thing we're gonna do is take the nylon cord on the tent and feed it into the track. While one person feeds it into the track, the other person will take the pull strap and pull it around the rear of the trailer. After we have the tent installed into the track, we're gonna take our standard fiberglass tent pole. We're gonna slide it into this black track that's on the back of the tent. And then we're gonna use the small hole on the corner piece. And the big hole is for your support bars that go from the ground up. After we have the fiberglass pole installed, we're gonna have somebody hold it on the outside. And then another person's gonna go on the inside. And they're gonna take this pole and they're gonna slide it out this pocket here and they're gonna clip it right on the fiberglass pole. Once we have it clipped on the fiberglass pole, we're gonna slide it into the pocket at the trailer side of the tent and then tighten it out and lock it down with this locking screw. Once we have all three roof bars in place, we're gonna take the corner post, put it into the corner here, and then we're gonna come down here and insert it into the eyelet of the strap. After you have it into the eyelet strap, we can take these little snaps here, these hooks, and hook them right onto the pole itself. Then we can take our stakes. We have eight stakes for the rear tent. We can put them in these straps and then take a hammer and tighten these down to the ground. There's also drawstrings that we can hook our poles to as well, or stakes to as well. After we have our stakes in place, we can take our skirt, you take your eyelet, you pass it over the fastener and you twist the locket in place. There's one in the middle and one on each side. And then there's these tightening strings here on each side that we could tighten this nice and skirt nice and tight up against the trailer. After we have our skirt in place, we wanna take our suction cups and tighten the tent to the trailer. Keep in mind on the other side, we have a vent. We wanna make sure we don't cover the vent up with the tent. We also have these undercarriage straps. We wanna hook those on the skid plates and pull tight, but don't over tighten. We just wanna keep it snug. Now that we have the rear tent installed, we can install the side tent. We're gonna take the nylon cord and we're gonna insert it in the exact same place we did as the rear tent, but slide it in the opposite direction. The side tent has two features that the rear tent doesn't have. It, the skirting has a cutout for the wheel and the step. So we wanna take the skirting and tuck it up over the wheel. And then there's a Velcro pocket here on the step. We separate the Velcro and insert it around the step. There are some warnings when setting up your tent. You wanna make sure that you do not set your tent up on very rocky ground that could damage the fabric of the tent. And you also don't wanna be in any low areas where water can pull underneath the tent. Uh, when you're done camping for the season or for that weekend, you wanna make sure you dry out the tents completely before storing them. 